Scoliosis is a deformity of spine where the spine is curved to the side. When you look from the front, your spine is normally straight. But in scoliosis, your spine curves and the spine bends towards one side, which can be seen in the form of uneven shoulders, asymmetrical waistline and a visible hump on the back, which we call in Hindi in Hindi. There are many types of scoliosis. One of them is congenital, which is present since birth. The other one is neuromuscular, where the problem is mainly because of the nerves, brain or inherently in the muscle that leads to scoliosis or bend of the spine. The third one is syndromic, where there are multiple problems in the child and scoliosis is one of the manifestations of that problem. And the last, which is the most common, is called as idiopathic adolescent scoliosis or some people call it as AIS, adolescent idiopathic scoliosis. Adolescent idiopathic scoliosis, as the name suggests, adolescent because it is most commonly seen in the adolescent age group, which is usually in the age between 10 to 15 years. Idiopathic means we do not still know the exact cause of the problem and scoliosis, as already told, is the curvature of the spine as seen from the front. However, the thing to note here is that it is not just the deformity which is seen from the front, but it is also a three-dimensional deformity where there is rotation also in the spine which leads to rib hump or a visible deformity in the lower waistline also. Adolescent idiopathic scoliosis, which is the most common scoliosis, usually is seen more commonly in girls than boys and usually it is detected by members of the family, especially parents, which is presented in the form of uneven shoulders, they might have an altered walk or in some cases it may present as a severe back deformity which is in the form of a rib hump or a waist asymmetry. Adolescent idiopathic scoliosis is usually diagnosed on a whole spine standing x-rays which is done from the front which is called as an AP x-ray and from the side called a lateral x-rays and a measurement called Cobb's angle is done to know the exact angle of the deformity. Usually if the deformity is less than 25 degrees, we observe the child and call them for clinical evaluation at every three months and a X-ray evaluation at every six months to see if the deformity is progressing or not. If the curve is between 25 to 45 degrees and the child is growing, lot of patients can benefit with brace. But if the curve is more than 45 or 50 degrees, then the treatment is usually in the form of surgery. The aim of surgery is to halt progression, balance the spine, get the alignment back and correction as much as possible with minimal complications. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.